Passover and rescue, Exodus 12 through 15. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all of the countries and bring you into your own land, Ezekiel 16, 24. On the night when every firstborn child and animal in Egypt died, called Passover, God saved the Israelites. God commanded each family to pick a perfect one-year-old male lamb. They had to kill the lamb and spread the blood on their front doorway. God would pass over the houses protected with blood, and everyone inside would be rescued. At midnight, a great cry arose in Egypt because someone died in every house that was not covered with blood. Pharaoh's hard heart was broken. He told Moses and Aaron to leave Egypt with all the Israelites and go worship God. The people left right away. There were now many people in Jacob's family, 600,000 men plus women and children. God told Moses that every year the people of Israel must remember and celebrate the Passover because with a strong hand the Lord has brought you out of Egypt. Exodus 13, verse 9b. God was with his people, leading them out of slavery and into the land that would be their new home. During the day, God looked like a pillar of cloud that they could follow. At night, God looked like a pillar of fire that gave them light. Pharaoh's heart became hard again. He took his whole army and chased after the Israelites all the way to the Red Sea. The Israelites were very afraid, but Moses told the people, Fear not, stand firm, and set the salvation of the Lord. 1413a. Moses lifted his staff over the sea as God told him to do. Then God made a dry path through the sea with a wall of water on the left and a wall of water on the right. The people walked across the sea on dry land. God saved his people again. The people saw God's power and believed in him. One day, far away, God would save his people again through giving up a firstborn son to set all people free. The Israelites were so afraid, but they trusted God to save them. Have you ever been afraid and trusted God to help you? What happened? 